Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. Princess Catherine has announced that she's been diagnosed with cancer. The news shocked the world over the weekend after months of speculation about her health. Here's Joe. Breaking news from the royal family. La principessa che di me del tonno cosa scheda has just announced that she is undergoing treatment for cancer. Yep, just over a month after King Charles's cancer diagnosis, the royal family has been rocked by another. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. This personal message from Kate comes after months of questions about her health. You see, the royal family hadn't said much since her surgery, and she hadn't been seen causing hashtags like hashtag where is Kate to trend on social media and Google in February. And then there was the infamous Photoshop pic, which fueled conspiracy theories on her whereabouts and condition even more. I think now it's come out, she's sort of been forced to say it, which maybe she shouldn't have had to be, but yeah, it's really sad. The announcement sent shockwaves around the world, and there's been an outpouring of support from world leaders and the public. I wish her best of luck and hope she recovers well soon. The princess says she's now receiving treatment and is focusing on making a full recovery. I hope that now what the media will do is to give her and her family the privacy and respect that they deserve. The Liberal Party has claimed victory in the Tasmanian state election. A fourth consecutive win for the Liberal Party. Final votes are still being counted, but so far it looks like the Libs have won the most seats, but it will fall short of securing a majority government of 18 seats. So it'll have to negotiate with independents like the Jackie Lambie Network to form a minority government. Now to sport with all the action from the Australian Grand Prix. Here's Ren. And Formula One is underway in Melbourne. Yep, it was an action-packed weekend in Melbourne for the Australian Grand Prix. World number one, Red Bull's Max Verstappen, was in pole position heading into the race. It's a great start for Verstappen. But then this happened. Blue smoke, a fire, a fire. Yeah, his car burst into flames, sending him to the sidelines. And the big names continued to fall, with Mercedes' Lewis Hamilton also exiting early due to an engine failure. In the end, it was all about Ferrari. What a comeback! With Spain's Carlos Sainz coming in first and Monaco's Charles Leclerc coming in second. Oh, and we can't forget about Australia's very own Oscar Piastri, who finished fourth for McLaren. Now to basketball, where this shot right on the buzzer won the game for the Tassie Jack Jumpers. Oh! Yep, with just 1.2 seconds left on the clock, this score from Jack McVeigh took them from a point down to two points up, securing the win over Melbourne United. Now they're just one win away from clinching the NBL championship title. And finally, to the urban downhill mountain bike race in Mexico. It saw competitors race down steep stairwells, around tight corners and through narrow alleyways, landing this giant jump right before the finish line. Now it's time for some unbelievable scenes. Whoa, that is pretty unbelievable. On your marks, get set, oh, oh nope, they've already started. Okay, here in France, 200 waiters hit the streets to compete in the Paris Cafe race. It's the first time the event's been held since 2011 and competitors have to carry a tray with a croissant, a cup of coffee and a glass of water for two kilometers without spilling anything, without running and only using one hand. The winners took home some fancy restaurant vouchers and tickets to the Paris Olympics opening ceremony. Around the world, famous landmarks turned their lights off to mark Earth Hour. From the Eiffel Tower to our own Sydney Opera House, iconic sights disappeared into the night. Now, I know what you're thinking. Turning off your lights for one hour isn't doing much for the environment, is it? Well, maybe not. But the idea behind the stunt is to raise awareness about the need for more action. And finally, to the depths of the Antarctic, where scientists have discovered this. It's called a sea lily, and this species was first spotted by a Chilean research team, who sent down a robot submarine to check out the ocean floor. Well, that's all from us today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>